Welcome to Famous Fortunes, I hope you are well. Welcome back to another episode of Famous Fortunes with your host, Lord of the Orbs, Lord Famous Fortunes. You know what, the comment section was on fire yesterday. Uh, I will say that. What are we going to get in? We're going to read a few comments in a minute. I've got some interesting things to say. Um, and some other, others of us also had interesting things to say as well. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the course. I've written a little spiel of what's going to be in the, the first two courses that I'm putting together. I'm very excited about it, actually. New Year coming up on the... What is it? What's the first un, lunar day? It's coming up sometime. February 10, I think it is. Uh, yeah, February... February 10 is the new moon, is the lunar new year on February 10. All right, interested and excited. I'm very excited. I'm interested in doing these courses. I'm excited about doing these courses. It's all, you can tell I'm just excited. All right, I'm just excited. Lady C is warning Harry and Meghan that, uh, and she can guarantee that the things are going to get a lot worse and wait until spring. They have a real bomb coming their way in spring. I think they're going to be completely exposed before this summer. Let me put it that way. We're going to find out what that bomb is today. We're going to give everyone a sneak preview. Let that be known. Uh, thanks, Lady C, for the heads up. We're going to dive into that. The bomb. The bomb coming their way. Uh, also, too, we are going to dive in. Oh, we're going to dive into the comments. We're going to read a few comments. That's what we're going to do. Before I get into the comments, let me read you. This is, I mean, typing up the sort of my thoughts for the course of the first two. So I'll read them to you and I'm working on it, obviously. Um, so for the first course, this, this course is going to be about uh, getting rid of demons and removing evil eye and to extent negative energies as well. In this course, you will learn how to cast out demons, uh, remove the evil eye and negative energies. You also learn how to break curses done on objects and personal items. All I say, all all the things I'm listening now, personal experience with it. I know, all right, hundred percent. These things work for sure. This divine invocation will work regardless on how, or regardless of, I should say of, regardless of how powerful the entity possessing the person is, because there is a, there is a difference there. Um, if the entity chooses to stay inside, it will be destroyed. Uh, the this divine invocation is so powerful, you may feel energy moving in and around your body while performing it. It is very astrally active, and many report very interesting dreams the nights they perform it. Now, that's something, I'll tell you what, it is very, very astrally active, this particular uh, secret, let's say. This spiritual act may be continued for weeks or months afterwards to increase your spiritual power and to change your life for the better, uh, as it can change the course of your life from the loftiest part of the cosmos from which all manifests. Uh, uh, that's, I'm just giving you a little taster, all right? It's, this is why I'm going to have to explain everything, how to do it, what is it, all the rest of it. Included with your purchase is my email address, so you can send me feedback of your experience during uh, its performance or dreams you have afterwards. I'll be very interested to hear. I want to know. I want your feedback. I want to collect your feedback. You're welcome to send it anonymously, of course, if you want. What You know what I'm saying? I won't put up your name. But I, I, I want to sort of, you know, collect feedback and put it out there. I think that's going to be really interesting. The second, so that's kind of really, that's one thing there. Now, I did use this particular method to deal with magic, but I found it wasn't so good. Um, and I'll explain why in the call. I'll explain, go more into this. It's really good for those things. But when it comes to breaking curses... Uh, that's when a different methods required. So that's why I'm going to do, I'm going to do two courses to begin with. Uh, curses and possession are two different things. So that possession can be a part of a curse, but really it's its own thing, an evil eye. So the, the thing is, this, this method is so powerful, it can deal with evil eye as well. So it's kind of like two in one. So the second method is specifically for curse breaking, because uh, it is a different thing. How to break, so this is my spiel, how to break black magic curses and return them even if you don't know who's cursed you. Someone asked that in the comments. I'm like, yeah, that's actually really important. You don't have to know. Uh, include sending even uh, negative, oh, hang on a second, what's this? Uh, no, hang on, that's not part of it. Okay, basically you'll be completely, be completely cleared in three to seven days. Everything will be gone. Uh, this divine invocation is very astrally active and many report dreams after its performance. Uh, this, it is, it's another one that's very astrally active. This particular invocation is battle tested against the strongest and most powerful black magic and has never failed. That's true. That is true. Many report dreams of packs and contracts made against them. 
uh, and are sometimes surprised who they see. And that's, I can tell you right now, someone in the family is very surprised who they saw that put a contract on them and many others actually to drain them of their energy. Can you believe that? So they were using, they, they, someone's, I mean, this is one example, someone is, someone's put a curse on a bunch of people and a bunch of families to siphon off all of their life force to them because they are um, having health issues. So that's what they did. That's what they decided to do. Uh, and that person came to them in a dream. It was like, what are you doing? You need to get, you know, you owe me part of this pact, right? And it got broken. So in any event, very interesting. You also learn how to break black magic curses on your homes, children, and pets. So there's a way, I mean, children, obviously, you, you can you can kind of do it. There's a way. I'm going to teach a method, right? Pets. I know. Don't ask me how. <laughs> pets. pets they, well, they're sickos. They do sick things. They curse pets too. Uh, included with your purchases. Again, my email address so you can send me feedback of your experience um, and any dreams you have afterwards. Now, what I those are the two courses I've got set up. Now, I'm going to get into the comments in a second. Now, I am thinking there's when it comes to curse breaking, I started with a, a particular method. And then because it became repeated sorcery, like over and over again, right, I switched to another method. Now, I am going to give, I have a, you know, I have a lot of experience with both methods, but I'm going to give the first method first. So this is, this is not, this method is not going to be sort of designed to hit the person back. This method is just to break it, right? This is just to break it. Basically, that's what it is. So if you're going to be starting to, so it's a bit of a different thing. So I'm going to be also offering, if you want to speak to me as well, and you've got a problem, you know, like a problem, a Let's say you've got a spiritual issue that needs a spiritual solution, right? I'm saying you've got a metaphysical problem, let's say, a metaphysical problem uh, that needs solving, then I may be able to help with that uh, in, in any event. Uh, so that's going to be different. For the moment, if, you, if you've if you got problems, you need to hit people back, you know, send energy back. Well, I'm going to just think about that for the moment because there's just a few, I've read in the comments, a few different scenarios. And this is the thing, you've got to get the right solution for the right scenario, uh, it's not necessarily one size fits all, but I'll tell you what, with these two courses, you know how to break curses, you know how to, you know, cast out demons. It's actually a thing and I'll teach you how to do it. I will, I will actually teach you. If you really want to learn, I will actually, I will actually teach you. And I'm going to, I will tell you this, I'm a practical person and I only do what works. And I had to for the last year given, and I'll talk more about it in the course, what's been happening to me. I'll talk about it in detail and how I've come to learn these things. Um, but I do know for a fact, these things uh, work and are undefeatable. Basically, there's nothing you, there's nothing, there's no curse you can do. Basically, that's it, it's you can't, you can, there's nothing. Uh, so, in any event, that's what we're going to get started with. Um, I am thinking there is a third course I'm having a thoughts of, and that's how to hit people back if they've if they're sending negative energy. For example, um, for example, I I was once doing that particular method invocation and i i was actually starting to sit here see and hear what someone's just sitting there cursing me but not like cursing me with black magic but just energy like focusing on me and sending energy just boom 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 like i hope you this happens to you i hope this happens to you like you know like real psychos now that's not necessarily black magic but it's still energy being thrown at you so that's like on a low level but it also can send the curse back to them so they're getting hit by their own uh, curse. That's basically kind of what it is. Uh, so it's kind of like another level and it's, it's a bit sort of, is it, it's, it's only a little bit more involved, only a little bit, not even one degree more sort of difficult than the first. But, uh, I know for hundred percent, this method works to break black magic curses. So those are my first, uh, two things. I've also got a few other surprises, uh, up my sleeve as well. So I've got it. I've got, I've just put down some notes here, uh, but I don't want to share them just yet, but things that are not necessarily, um, witchcraft related or black magic, uh, let's say, but things that are sort of helpful, right? Helpful in your life. Uh, let's say that in a good way. Uh, and then a few other things. So I've got a few little things there, but you know, I want to teach people that really want to learn. I don't sort of want, you know, people, you know, this is for people that, if you don't, I guess I have to say this, a lot of people don't believe how bad black magic can be. And that's great because they've never had it done to them. Uh, but, but seriously, if you had, you know, and maybe you don't know as well, that's the other thing. How do you know if you have black magic done on you? Well, the only way to do it is to 
uh, from my experience, I'll tell you right now, because I didn't know uh, until I started, until things got like bad every night. But for, for quite a long time there, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't quite know the extent of how bad it was. I was being targeted for quite a while, but uh, but it became every night. So in any event, um, this I've got so much more to say, but yeah, this is what I'm saying. These courses are going to be where it's at. Okay, so Canadian Girl says, Hi, Lord Famous Fortunes. I'm sad to hear that people uh, have mistaken things from other channels and decided to share the comments. So interesting. Okay, so this person says, I watched the, that live reading, apparently, where the in the chat, many were naming other readers who had received the same messages the subject then changed, which can make live chats confusing. The, the reader said lefty, which was taken out of context. Okay, I hope this clears up the misunderstanding. I can't stand when people only tell part of a story and try to pit content creators against each other. You know what? I really appreciate you said that. I'm going to read you. I'm reading your comment out. I think it's great. Um, yeah, I think I think we should we should all stick together in this. You know, like we went through the what, what the wars, the the Twitter wars together. You know, when Mocky came out. All that stuff. So we should stick together. I mean, I don't see what the... Yeah, well, let's just do it. I think mean, good energy. Good energy all around. Um, okay. What's this? So, okay. Uh, Desiree Wong, Team Famous Fortune, says, I enjoy your readings. Hi, Lord Famous Fortunes. I enjoy your readings as, w as well as all your readings. Some are totally on point and others not so much, which is to be expected. The question I wish to ask about, I'm not sure if you're able to give me an answer on, is as follows... There are some supposedly tarot readers who I do automated writings from royals, such as Queen Elizabeth, Princess Diana, and others who claim they're getting messages from long dead royals, such as King Henry, Princess Diana, Queen Elizabeth. I'm so confused. How is that even possible? Are there some supposed psychics who claim to speak to archangels, Michael and Metatron? Uh, can you shine a light on whether this is possible? Okay, there's a few questions there. Um, let's just say this. Angels don't chat to us, number one. I'm going to go cover these points. They don't chat to us. If an angel speaks to you, it's an incredibly blessed and holy moment in your life. Uh, they're not some things that can be dialed up and you just chat to an archangel. That's, uh, that's, that's, some, that's I think someone's probably confused there. And there are, most often what happens is the entities masquerading as, you know, positive entities. And, you know, like I'm talking about demons, I'm talking about interdimensional entities, because angels are made of what? Light. Light, right? Angels are made of light. Interdimensional entities are not made of light. They're made of fire. There's a difference, right? There's a difference there. Uh, and so they don't, it, we're, we're, what are we made of? We're, we're made of, let's say, earth and water, right? If you like. But they're made of fire and, and maybe air, I suppose you could say. Uh, but not light. This is different. Like we're talking spiritual light, like the light of of um, a holy light. You know what I'm saying? So there's a big difference there. Angels, you know, archangels don't chat to us. That's something. Uh, okay. So yeah, most time this is these are people that are probably inadvertently talking with interdimensional entities. Um, that's a thing. Now, okay. Now. Is it possible to speak with the dead? Now, I, it, it is possible, but that, does that mean, but, but, okay, but, but, not in the way people think. Like, you can't just sort of call them up and have a conversation with them. They are there. They are alive, in a sense. But the other thing, too, they have to have a certain... Uh, and they can come through, but it's, you know, see, uh, it's not necessarily, it's not in the way people think. Like, those people are still alive, for sure, and they're in a different place. They're in a different sort of realm, if you like, to us. A different plane of existence. But again, they're not sort of, you know, spilling their hearts out to people. That's, again, <laughs> that's, that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. I think, um, in my humble opinion, automatic writing is, it's, yeah, it's imagination. That's what it is. What can I say? What can I say? I don't, I'm not disparaging anyone because uh, I don't know who you're talking about. But uh, in any event, that's, yeah, I'll say that. All right, moving on. Moving on. Uh, you know, okay, can you throw cards and stuff? Yeah, you can throw cards because it's a different mechanism, right? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's like synchronicity. That's kind of like the secret to cards. Can you throw cards and see? Well, yeah, maybe you can. Maybe you can. I think there's something to that. Um but in any event, like actually getting messages from people that passed, yeah, that's that's not really a thing. All right, so okay, well, Monica says she'll buy a P calendar. Thanks for the support. I know the P calendar would be awesome, next level. So all right, 
Okay, uh, Cat Cow says, I want to learn where is the, when is the course? Well, I'm going to be, I'm working on it. Like I said, I showed you, I showed you the first little spiels. I'm working out what's going to be in the course. I've got to plan them, right? Because I want it to be like a curriculum. I'll, I honestly, I would teach you guys some stuff you'll never, you got your whole life you'll never find. Uh, and it's extremely valuable stuff. Um, okay, all right, next level, next level, real, real, and it's, I know it works because I've been using it. I only ha I'm only going to give people I know stuff that I know works 100% because I've, I've tried, do you know how much stuff I've tried that didn't work? Yeah, I'm going to talk about that in my courses as well. So come to the, you know, if you want to do a course, you got to obviously want to learn, but you need to have an open mind. You got to, you know what, you got to take your cup, empty the cup and then come and learn because I'm going to teach you what works, not, not dogma. I don't do dogma. I'll teach you what works and what I know from experience. Um, and what's worked against, you know, real, some real terrible things. So just let that be known. She is demonic, hang on, or attached for sure. I definitely want to be sending some voodoo back to sender. Yeah, that's it. You know, sending it back to sender is, I'd say, breaking curses, definitely that's what you want to do. Sending it back to the sender, that's, now that's something that is, this is what I'm tossing up. Do I just go and, if I give that to the public, right, and then... The person who made the curse gets hit. What can happen is this. Listen up. This is probably the most important thing I'm going to say today. If you, someone's made witchcraft on you, black magic, you've been hit with a curse, right? You're like, right, I'm going to send it back to them. So you send it back to them. What will happen with that person? Because you've got to remember, you're not dealing with someone who has full knowledge of spiritual things. You're dealing with someone who is malicious, spiteful, uh, controlling, and manipulative, okay? And is has gone to the dark side. So if you return that to them, okay, they're not going to have a spiritual awakening and go, wow, I just got hit with some, you know, seriously negative energy. Maybe I should reconsider my life choices. What they're going to think is someone's made black magic on me. Listen, it's, I'm telling you right now from experience, this is what happens. Now, there's a time for sending it back to them. There's a time for doing that. And that time is when it's becoming so persistent, it's going on for months uh, they start to make death curses on you to kill you and your family. That's when you, and, and basically it's like, okay, right, I need to do this. Um, I'm not sleeping, you know, all the rest of it. It's becoming out of hand. This is when you start hitting people back. Uh, it takes quite, you know, I don't want people to start jumping straight into, let's just start smashing people that are made, <laughs> you know, witchcraft on me. Just learn from, you got to just, you got to learn from someone that's walked this path before. It's best to break it and walk away and try to find out who did it. That's the other thing. Try to find out who did it so you can cut them out of your life because they use information. I'm going to go through this in the course. They use information about you to tailor the curses. Extremely negative. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, this is the thing. You want to just be a little bit, a little bit careful. So this is why I'm holding back on that. I'll teach you how to break them. I'll teach you how to, I'll teach you how to vanquish demons out of, out of yourself. How to break curses made on you, I'll teach that. But how to send them back, I'm still, I'm still thinking, well, do I want to give that out? Because you might find, you know, people might start getting into trouble. I'm going to hold that off. If you want, if you've got a, you know, you want to, that would be to give me a call or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Book a session with me and we'll talk about that. Because I'm, I've got, I'm responsible in a way. I'm, I'm teaching people, right? I'm not going to do it properly. I'm not just going to go get you in trouble. So what happens if you get hit and they know it's you somehow? They're going to do it again and they'll make it worse next time. And then you get, yourselves in a, you get yourself into a problem. Um, see, no, see, I don't care. I mean, <laughs> problems every day, so I don't care. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it and they're going to suffer. Uh, that's for sure. So, all right. See, that's the thing. I'm a little bit different. Maybe you'd want someone to take the sort of, um, what you want to do with a smart play, honestly, is to find someone that can actually hit them for you. That's actually the smart play. That's what, that's the smart play is because then they won't target you so much as is is the person that's you've got to help you it's actually smart because you're moving yourself from the firing line let that be known okay so uh pick says after being subject to both a black magic attack and a voodoo attack death attack i'll support you in saying just how real it is yeah it, you know yeah, it's uh, once you experience it you know what i'm talking about uh tempe says my goodness you've had voodoo dolls used against you yeah many times how did you find out? Um, because I did curse breaking. I saw it in dreams. I saw a, a voodoo doll with pins in it after curse breaking. That's why I'm saying these, these invocations are very astrally active. Um, why would you, anyone want to do that to you? Because they want to F your life up for, for some reason, right? For some reason. They want to hurt you and destroy you. Uh, even though that by doing that, by them doing that, they've signed away 
their future, basically. I mean, the negative karma on them is so powerful. What do you think happens when people die? This is why, they, this is why I say the karma kicks in next, all right? The, this is where the karma kicks in. I think it has more effect if the target knows power of suggestion. That's not true. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you from experience. But I don't allow myself to believe in it because I don't want to give that sort of thing any power. Yeah, that's. I understand where you're at. I understand where you're at now. I'm trying. This is why you. This is the thing. People, there's so much. You go on TikTok. There's a million people selling black magic. I'll make this curse. I'll make this curse. There's no one out there going. I'm going to help you break this stuff uh, because it's the knowledge is a little bit difficult to come by. But also, too, real black magic knowledge is difficult to come by as well. It's not easy to make you know, hardcore black magic on people. And it takes a lot of sacrifice. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. I want to talk about that. Uh, Dr. Doctor Cherry says, I would only be taught by you. Thank you. Love heart. Love heart. I'll teach you things so powerful you wouldn't even believe. I'm not I'm not exaggerating either. I wouldn't, be, I'm not, I wouldn't do this. Um uh what's this okay so deborah says don't confuse please don't confuse witches with black magic users and satanists even a love spell is black magic since it's targets free will now this is true i guess the um let's say there is a way to attract love but you don't focus it on specific people right so if you want a relationship you want marriage you want to have children like this type of thing um and this is one of the things i'm thinking about offering down the track um you don't, you do, there's something you can do and it works, right? But you don't focus it on, you know, John or, or, or Cindy or, you know, whoever. You don't focus it on them to, to interfere with their free will. You, you got to put it out to the universe. And um, it's, I will, you know, that's something exactly. We, we look at that down the track. Yeah, um, that's just one of the things that thing can be used for as a whole. These things are holistic. It can be used for a lot of things, but uh, you've got to be taught by someone who has experienced it and has, you know, a lot of experience with this stuff. Otherwise, you, you know, you're just going to get um, people with, you know, whatever, people with just no experience and whatever. Anyway, Marjim Team Famous Fortune says, uh, who on earth would ever have a problem with you? You are the nicest person on YouTube. Thanks, Marjim. Um, well, okay. Well, okay. Apparently, the other things are nothing burger. Fair enough. Um but uh, you know the knot magic I mentioned, yeah, I know it's a it's an interesting one. It's an interesting it's an interesting one. Um, I I think it's because people think they have to take from others to for them to do well. That's like their like toxic mindset. I have others have to be you know not doing well for me to be doing well. Yeah, that's why they that's why they do that. Uh, in this case, in this particular case. Also, too, I think people. People can be jealous and envious of others as well, you know, and, and for reasons that we don't understand. They, I mean, they, whatever, they've obviously got a lot of issues with themselves, you know, things that, you know, they may be hiding from themselves or hiding from the public about, you know, how nasty they are or, you know what I mean? People, people fall, people, people do bad things, right? But it doesn't mean we have to like start interfering with the lives of others. You know, that's not the way, that's the way to, that's like someone who's fallen into the, like a the dark side, like the spiraling downward spiral of the dark side. And that's, that, uh, that is, I want to put, uh, that's, it's going to be a topic of a course. If you're going down a black hole, how do you get yourself out? All right. And, you know, if you want to remove negative karma from yourself, you know, negative energy stains from yourself, um, that type of thing, there's something that can be done. Uh, and, uh, that's a course. So, all right. What else can we say? What else? There's a great comment section. Um, uh, yeah, I think those who... Stacey says, I think those who practice dark arts are more likely to have entities attached to them. Yeah, it's probably right. It's probably true in many cases. Now, that does, doesn't mean... You know, a lot of people have entities attached to them and around them, right? A lot of people do. That's why... Um, the first course is going to be very interesting to a lot of people because they might just find out, oh man, this has been something that's been hanging around for a long time and I thought this was normal. Yeah, you'll find out. Ain't normal. It ain't normal. Extremely difficult to get rid of sometimes because they can go and come back too. So if it comes back, you hit him again. <laughs> you hit him again. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's have a look at a few more. I love the curse busting guinea pig t-shirt idea. Um, I think that's I think that's the way to go. Uh, I love it. I'm not very I'm not very good at drawing though. Uh, okay. Uh, Vic Meow says. Greetings, Lord Famous Fortunes. Can someone attach a negative energy to another person just by hating them so much and by turning others against them? In other words, without using actual black magic, but just by using their own hatred and manipulation. And if so, how does the target return it to sender or at least remove it? Okay, so that is yes. The answer is yes. Now, this is the thing where people like, it's about energy. So yeah, by people sit, I know it just sounds, it. I know by People can. People can sit there and focus so much hatred on one person. And it's usually envy is the driver. And I'm just talking about that. It's usually envy that drives that hatred and manipulation. It's usually envy in some way that's manifesting in the person. Uh, because otherwise, why would you hate them so much? Like, for example, like, for example, I mean, look, I know someone, I could tell you, his, you know, their name. And I can tell you exactly where they are. And I can tell you exactly what they get up to every morning. Uh, at 3 in the morning or 5.30 in the morning or wherever they get up and practice, you know, witchcraft on people repeatedly. I, mean, I can tell you. I can tell you all this stuff. But do I hate them? No, I don't hate them. So, I mean, even though, you know what I'm saying, I've been so... I don't hate... What, and this is the thing. I looked at myself. Why don't I hate the person? I, mean, I just want them to stop. Like, just stop already, you know? Just stop. But uh, in any event... Yeah. So yeah, that's actually, it's, it's actually a thing. And this comes down to, it's, it's kind of like shades of black magic, black energy, right? It's, and the thing is what you've even at a workplace, perfect example, envy in a workplace, envy and people like, Oh, I'm going to scheme. I'm going to do you over and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's a thing. It's a thing. So there are, there are tools to do it. I'm just sort of having to plan out one step at a time. I'm going to have to plan out and sort these things out. Um, but yeah, no, you're absolutely right. You can, you can protect yourself from that energy. So there's two things here. There's protection and then there's like actually shielding oneself. And then there's actually curse breaking, uh, you know, casting out demons and, um, and, and that type of stuff and, and sending their energy back to them. That's kind of like, there's two sides to the coin, if you like, two sides, the yin and the yang, uh, defensive and offensive, if you like. Um, okay. Uh, Chaos Duel says, Team Famous Fortunes, in the course of a normal life, how often would someone encounter demons or curses? Is this more common than I imagine? You know, I, be I believe it to be so now. Not just because of the experience I'm having or had, bec uh, you know, having currently, but because I've, I've noticed that when I've given this to other people, like these other people in their life start popping up, like someone I gave this to from 20 years ago, had someone who did something like, oh, there's some, some boyfriend I had some, you know, their sister, you know, was into some weird stuff. And, and, uh, and then I saw it in a dream after I did this last night, like what? Yeah. That's it. You know, from 20 years ago, can you believe that? Um, you know, I mean, I, I like I said, and then like a couple of days ago, there's a tarot reader doing not mad that tried not magic on me. Right. And I, <laughs> Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. A YouTuber. Um, in any event, is it more common than you imagine? Yeah, it kind of is. Now, does that mean it's going to be like the most hardcore demonic stuff you can think of? No, but it's like it, it, more often, it, it's almost light. It's light. It's like hateful vibes, envy, scheming to do people over. And then, you know, it's a bit of, it's sort of, we start getting into some stuff and, you know, a bit of not magic, a bit of candle magic, a bit of, you know, a bit of black magic on people. You know, yeah, it is, it is more common than you imagine. But what's even more common is possession. Demon possession is way more common than, than magic. 100%. An order of magnitude more, more common. I, I would say the first course, uh, I'll put out there a lot of people are going to see a lot of stuff. A lot of people, a lot of people are going to experience some energy move on that one. I'm telling you what, because yeah, it's, 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 it is, it is more common, but again, possession is more common. So there you go. There's my thoughts. Thank you. Thank you for your great question. Uh, also, yeah, tiny teapots on the calendar. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, okay. What's this Dharma? Thanks for the reading today. Spooky Saturdays are the best. How does one know their cursed or dark magic is in force? 
Okay, now you also go on to say I've been sick for two years, severe fatigue, nausea, cognitive issues. At first, my hands were normal. Uh, a year later, the labs indicated something, but I haven't met a doctor who can help. I have more good days than bad now, but I still struggle with the symptoms. Is that is that, if there is a curse or something, how do I clear it? Okay, well that's well, I think we're gonna get we're gonna talk we're gonna get there, right? Um, so for that type of thing. I would probably want to like this is this is what I recommend and listen up. This is probably what I recommend for everyone is that you do both because you got to take care of if the entities inside you got to deal with them. If people have made witchcraft on you, black magic, you have to deal with that. So you got to do both because it could be both. You could you could be you could you could have both. Now I'd say this if this could just be a health issue for sure, um, but I know black magic can affect people's health. I can tell you for sure that it can. Um, and it, this could very well be black magic. It could be. How do you know though? That's the thing. Well, there are a lot of signs and I have to go through those in the course because there's probably, there's probably quite a, quite a number, but you can see it in dreams, different signs in dreams that something's happened. Um, but, but not necessarily, not necessarily. It's like, but also one of the signs is my health's going down the hill and doctors don't know how to do anything about it. Now, there is a probably there is definitely a role for natural medicine as well, and I would suggest you know you could see a practitioner of Eastern medicine like Chinese medicine something like that someone who deals with acupuncture and herbalism you know that's a good start a good person um, that'd be a good start to sort of get an alternative opinion energetically and stuff like that, but it could also be black magic and that's that's a thing and you'll be surprised you'll be surprised. Okay, now, CI says, how does one dispose of these dolls? My friend thought it'd be funny to gift me one and found it in a charity shop. Do I just burn it? What if it was used? Um, soak it in water overnight and then burn it. That's what I'll... And throw the water out. You know? <laughs> don't, don't, you know, don't do anything with it. Don't cook with it or anything. Um, soak it in water. Throw it and then burn it. So burn it to ashes. Why do you soak it in water? It's to get them... Because it's actually drain... Sort of like water... Water can bring out magic from things. Or the other alternatives is you could do the, the the first course and teach you how to break black magic on objects. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what you can do. Um, next. I just... There's a whole episode on questions. It's so good. I'm so engaged. Uh, yeah. Now, do you need, what's this? Do you need a, a sample of the hair? No, you know, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to teach people that stuff. And I already know because it's been done against me, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately. But yeah, no, there's, it's, it's, you don't actually necessarily need parts of the person's whatever's, you know, body parts or hair or whatever. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to get into, the, I don't want to get into that stuff. Not, not, not now. Um, I'm not teaching, I don't want to teach people that sort of, I don't want to give people ideas, but I only know because people have been done against me and I've seen, I've just seen it. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. Jan says, what happens if you use an entity and they don't give them what they want? You don't give them what they want or try to get rid of them because you don't want them anymore. Yeah. They're going to F you up. That's what's going to happen. You can, it, it, very difficult. You don't get out of those contracts and packs. Once you sign on, that's it. They got you. There was actually, if you look on YouTube, there's a Russian lady. I need to find it and put it out there. There's a Russian lady that did this. She she tried to F them off after she did these contracts and whatever, and she didn't pay them. And they killed all her family, the, the entities. Uh, so let that be known, right? It's extremely, you know, and I, I don't know if this is relevant to anyone in the audience, but if you are a person that's has packs and contracts that you want to break on yourself and you want to get out of it properly i i can help with that you gotta you gotta get in contact with me um for a session once that happens but uh, that's a very niche case and i don't i hope i hope there's no one like that but you know if there is someone like that out there i will talk to you and help you you know come back to the come back to the light and deal with it away and actually be able to defend yourself against them uh, and your family as well so because that could be very difficult um, so Jan says, is the accuser the same YouTuber who was energetically interfering with you? The answer is no. And I, I did make that clear in the first thing, but I will say that again. 
So, yeah, fixing tarot sounds incredibly difficult and quite pointless for the effort. Yeah, particularly when I shuffle on camera, like, uh, every time. <laughs> I don't know how. How does one... Uh, how do you shuffle? So the cards are up. Okay, so what? So what? Do you think I'm like, okay, the cards are in all these positions. I mean, for over 1,000 episodes, it's been done the same way. How does one cook the books on that? I should, I should, I should go to Las Vegas and rip them off, if that's the case. I should... Uh, why not? They could take me out the bracket and break my hands. <laughs> I'm sure they don't do that, do they? Just on the movies. All right. So there you go. All right. Can you send Evil Eye back, even if you don't know who's doing it? Um, yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. And this is the thing. You don't need to know who's... For the stuff I'm going to teach, you don't need to know who's done any of it. That's not... It's not important, and that's a good thing because there might be more than one person, or, and you know, a lot of the times they'll they don't they're not going to tell you they're going to get you. They're just going to do it. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, mm, mm, yes, very strange, very strange behavior. Mm, all right. So Helen says she loves Spooky Saturdays. I like Spooky Saturdays too. Uh, spooky Sunday today, I guess. All right, so... Uh, there's a bit of confusion there in the comments. Someone thought I was offering classes to teach evil. <laughs> no, no, I'm just going to clarify that. No, it's curse-breaking. And... Uh, and depossession. And evil eye clearing. So let that be known. All right. All right, all right, all right. I am going to... Uh, le love you and leave you there because I think my battery is about to run out. With that said, I will see you in the comments.